Hey guys, so when I first transitioned into veganism, I could have used some tips along the way and there was many times where I was a bit confused, I didn't really know what I was supposed to do, how I was supposed to handle certain situations, what I was and wasn't supposed to eat, use, wear, all that sort of thing. So today I thought I would give some tips for vegan beginners, people who are interested in becoming vegan, people who are just curious about it, people who have just become vegan and might be a bit confused, want some pointers. So yeah, these are all things that I wish I had known when I first started becoming vegan. And yeah, they have really helped me now and really got me to the place I am today where I sort of feel like I have my head around it and I know exactly what I believe in, what I should and shouldn't be doing and all that sort of stuff. So yeah. <laughs> so the number one thing I can't stress enough is to not beat yourself up if you slip up. I know when I first started becoming vegan, I had no idea about so many things that I wasn't supposed to be using. Like even when I, I don't know, this sounds really stupid, like please don't judge me for saying this, but when I started being vegan, I like, it was sort of hazy in the back of my mind that like honey wasn't vegan and I don't know, like all this sort of stuff and wool, like I never understood before being vegan that wool was a bad thing. I never understood like how the sheep got hurt and all that sort of stuff. And it's okay to not know that stuff. It's okay to not be a expert straight up. It's okay to not have your head around everything because people can't expect that from you. If you're just going into something, you're not expected to be an expert on it. And I remember when I first transitioned, there were lots of times where I would accidentally eat milk powder in something, or I would order something at a restaurant and it would come with cheese on top. And I just, it's just because you're not used to it. I wasn't used to having to ask for no cheese on something. I wasn't prepared for that to happen, you know? Like, I feel like now that I've been vegan for a long time, I know that. I know that I have to, at restaurants, I have to ask about things. I have to request no dairy. And that's okay. But when you're first going vegan, you don't know that. And that's perfectly fine. If you accidentally stuff up, don't beat yourself up. Don't blame, don't blame yourself for it because it's natural. It's normal. Like, yeah, everyone makes mistakes and that's okay. As long as you don't do it on purpose, like, it's okay, it really, really is. And I feel like some people might mess up and be like, oh, that's it, I'm not vegan anymore, like, I can't be vegan, I've eaten this thing. And then they give up, and they just think it's too hard because they keep accidentally messing up. But if you do, please just stay on it, keep, keep going, and yeah, just don't beat yourself up. Just keep going, forget about it, be like, okay, that was an accident, I've learned from that, and the next time you'll know not to do that, you'll know to ask, or you'll know to that you can't buy that product anymore, you'll know to look the ingredients closer look at the ingredients closely and um, yeah just keep going stay on track and don't give up <laughs> my second tip is to eat enough food i think lots of people go into veganism thinking that you eat the same food minus the meat and dairy so people will eat like a salad that like they won't eat i don't know like it'll be really small like just minus the chicken and that is how you're gonna starve yourself pretty much and then if you're always hungry mm, sorry. <laughs> if you're always hungry and not eating enough, you're going to blame the lifestyle, you're going to be like, oh, veganism stars me, like, I can't survive on a vegan diet, so it's not like what my body wants or whatever, and you're going to stop. So when you're vegan, you have to eat a lot, you have to make sure you're eating what you would have been eating, like, you have to be eating enough to, like, substitute the meat and dairy you would have been eating, like, if you're eating, like, spaghetti bolognese, like, what you would have been eating, you have to eat that much pasta to, like, substitute that meat, if that makes sense. I'm explaining this really badly. But um, yeah, just make sure you're eating a lot. And also eating a lot is important for getting all your vitamins that you need. Like you have to, because you're not eating meat, to get iron, you have to eat a lot more veggies, a lot more beans, a lot more, you know, all that stuff that has iron in it to get the right amount. The number one thing that has helped me throughout my vegan journey and inspired me in the beginning is to follow so many Instagrammers and YouTubers that are promoting the vegan lifestyle and that are thriving on it. It just helps so much to constantly be seeing people who are just having ama have amazing lifestyles being vegan and who are eating amazing foods and just, you just see these people and you're like, wow, like this is what this lifestyle can do and it just motivates you to keep going. And lots of YouTubers also are get there. <laughs> And there's lots of YouTubers that also give out amazing tips and really helped me at the start. Um, Bite Size Vegan is a great one. She has so many informative videos and she just knows everything and she explains it so well in a really like non-aggressive way. And I feel like even meat eaters would gain something from her videos. And yeah, just go and watch her if you need any information at all. I would also recommend taking snacks with you when you go out because 
vegan snacks are hard to find when you're out and about. Um, it's okay for main meals, like that's not usually an issue. Um, I'll actually go into how to find that next. But yeah, snacks, it's often hard to find and it's really annoying when you're hungry. And I know, especially like at the start, when, like, when you first transition to veganism, it sort of crosses your mind to go and buy something that's not vegan. But like to stop yourself from doing that, you just always need to have something. Even if you just have like a few muesli bars in your in your bag all the time like just something to keep you going if there's no food options around which could happen <laughs> so in terms of finding vegan food i recommend this app called happy cow it is amazing it's helped me so much pretty much you just put in your location or like you let your phone you know find your location automatically and you can click either vegan vegetarian vegetarian options or there's some other option and it pretty much lists all the food places near you like if you go vegan it'll list all the vegan places near you or veg options it'll list all the places with vegan and vegetarian options near you and it's just amazing you can go on and people have like rated it and you know like left comments about it and you can see photos of people's food it's just an amazing app and it helps me so much like when i'm out with friends and you want to find something to eat i can just look on the app and find somewhere that can cater to me and it's so so good i highly recommend getting this app so I was a bit hesitant about recommending this one because I know lots of vegans will say no, don't do that, like stay true to your beliefs and don't take any crap. But honestly, if like I just want to be real with you guys and I this actually helped me a lot, so I want to recommend it to you, and that is if you don't feel comfortable telling people at restaurants that you're vegan and you don't want to eat something that they're offering, just tell them that you're allergic to dairy. Um, yeah, I know that lots of people will say no, like just tell them the truth, like it doesn't matter. But this helped me so much because sometimes you feel bad I know, I know at the start like before I was fully like comfortable and like open about my veganism I felt bad asking restaurants to take something off their meal I felt like I was inconveniencing them and I just didn't I don't know and there was a few places I came across where the wait staff were a bit rude and they were like oh like you don't want cheese like that's why and I just found I don't do it anymore I just tell them that I don't eat dairy but a lot of times, yeah, when I was first starting out, I would tell the um, restaurant that I was allergic to dairy and they don't care if you say that. They just, they're fine with it. They just do it straight away because they're like, oh, you can't eat it. And it just helps so much. And yeah, if you're just shy about talking to people about veganism at the start, just, yeah, do that. <laughs> and my last tip is to educate yourself. Educate yourself about everything because especially when you first start out, you are going to get so many people who are going to try and argue with you who are, try, going, bleh, who are going to try and tell you that your lifestyle isn't sustainable, that you're not going to get your vitamins, that all this stuff about like how we're supposed to eat meat. And you just need to make sure to educate yourself on all of this so you have something to say. Because take it from me, there is nothing worse than someone arguing with you and you knowing that it's, that knowing that they're wrong, but not actually having any logical explanation to give them. It is so, so frustrating because then they end up thinking they're right and they're like, oh, you know, veganism is bad, but you know that it's not, but you just don't know how to put it into words. And that still happens to me to this day. Like, I know the information. I just, some people I just can't be bothered arguing with, but sometimes I just like, I get tongue tied and I just can't like figure out what I want to say to this person. So yeah, I'm still educating myself. I'm still re-watching videos so I don't forget information because you watch all these videos when you first become vegan, you watch like Earth Things Cowspiracy, all this sort of stuff, and you know all this stuff, but then me six months on having not watched earthlings since i started veganism it you forget you forget all the information and you forget what you're supposed to be telling people and yeah even so yeah even as you go through through your journey like months on keep watching these videos keep informing yourself keep refreshing information because you're always going to have people that want to argue with you and you need to have some sort of way to defend yourself. So that's all the tips I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. If you're thinking about going into veganism, please, please do it. I know some of these tips made it sound a bit hard, but it is such an amazing lifestyle and the pros far outweigh the cons. I just, I feel so amazing on this lifestyle. I feel better physically, mentally. It's just amazing, hands down. So yeah, I really hope you'll consider it and take my tips on board and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.